Happy Tuesday, children. So happy to see that you're back. We're going to continue in our book of the big blue book of beginner books and go to the next one. The next one is called A Fly Went By. It is by Mike McClinton Talk and illustrated by Fritz Siebel. If it's illustrated by them, what did they do for the book? The illustrated. Yeah, they drew the pictures. That's exactly right. So if we're reading about A Fly Went By, what do you think is going to happen? I see a person and I see a fly. Maybe it looks like it's doing what? What do you think? Let's make some predictions about the book. This says it's for Kim and Leslie. It's called a dedication. So if you ever write a book and you say it's for somebody or if you write a story and you say it's for them, it's called a dedication. You're saying, hey, this book is for you. I really hope you like it. And it's just something nice people do sometimes. Does that make sense? All right, let's see what happens in A Fly Went By. So, I sat by the lake. I looked at the sky, and I looked. A fly went by. You see the fly? I see him. So, he's sitting by the lake and looking at the sky. A fly went by, he said. Oh, dear. I saw him shake. He shook with fear. I heard some rhyming words in there. So, maybe our whole, the big book of, uh, the big blue book of beginner books has some rhyming words in there. I'm pretty sure. And when I saw that fly go past, I asked him why he went so fast. I asked him why he shook with fear. I asked him why he said, oh dear. He said, I must get out of here. I heard several rhyming words in there. Did you? What do you think he's going from? What do you think he's flying away from? He said, I must get out of here. What do you think a fly would be trying to avoid? Let's see if you're right. The fly said, look, and you will see. That frog. That frog is after me. Heard some more rhyming words. Let's see if you can point to them. See if you know them. The fly went past. The frog came fast. Point to the rhyming words. See if you know them. So the fly is going from a what? From a frog. Good. I asked the frog. I asked him why. Why do you want to get that fly? So why do you think a fly or a frog would want to fly? What do you think? The frog said, me? I want no fly, but I must hop, and this is why. So, he said that he doesn't want the fly, but why do you think the frog is hopping? Let's see if you're right. That cat, he said, just look and see. That cat, he said, is after me. Uh-oh. Better get out of there. Then he was gone with one big hop. The cat ran up, and I said, stop. Now stop, 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 I told the cat. Do not pick on the frog like that. So we found out the cat is chasing the frog that is chasing the fly. The little boy doesn't like it. He's telling the cat to stop. The cat said, look, I want no frog. I have to get away from... So he's trying. The, he's not going after the frog. He's trying to run away from a... What word rhymes a frog? That a cat would run away from. A dog! If you got a dog, you're so right. Look, the dog is chasing the cat. The dog is chasing the cat. It's chasing the frog. That's chasing the fly. But is anybody chasing anyone so far? Probably not. Maybe just the dog. So, the fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. One ran from the other. The other ran too. From one who came after. Now what could I do? What do you think the little boy could do to stop this madness? The dog chasing the cat that chases the frog that chases the fly. What do you think he could do? Away past the lake went the fly and the frog. Away past the lake went the cat and the dog. They went past a shed and they went up a hill. I ran and I said, I will stop them. I will. So he said that he's going to stop them. They ran all the way this way. The fly does not know that the frog is not mad. The frog does not know that the cat is not bad. The cat runs in fear of the dog, I can tell. If I can stop him, then all will be well. So he thinks if he stops the dog, then everything will be better. So let's see. I ran a lot, I ran so fast. I came up to the dog at last. Now stop, I said. You are the one who did all this. Why do you run? Why do you want to bite that cat? Oh, you are bad to be like that. The dog said, no, that is not so. So now the dog says that he's not chasing the cat. Let's see what's going to happen. I want no cat. 
The cat can go. I do not want to bite the cat. I run to get away from that. So what do you think the dog is running from? Let's see. What do you think a dog would run from? That pig! That pig, he said. Look back and see. She likes to bite and she wants me. Uh-oh, so the pig is chasing the dog, that's chasing the cat, that's chasing the frog, that's chasing the fly. But is the dog actually chasing the cat? No. Is the cat actually chasing the frog? No. Is the frog actually chasing the fly? No. So do you think the pig is actually chasing the dog? Let's see. So, the fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran away from the cat, who ran from the dog. The dog ran away in fear of the pig. My, she was mad. And was she big? So she's kind of a lot bigger than these ones, isn't she? I said to the pig, so you are the one in back of all this. Now why do you run? Now why should a pig bite a dog, I said. And why are you mad? Are you out of your head? So why do you think the pig is mad at the dog? Let's see if we can figure it out. The pig said, I am not out of my head. See what is after me? Look, she said. So something's after the pig too? What do you think could be after a pig? Let's see. That cow will hit me, said the pig. Those things up on her head are big. See them? So the pig ran past, she ran past fast. Then the cow ran up and a little cow too. I said, now what got into you? Do not pick on the pig, you two. So see the, cat, the big cow and the small cow? They're chasing the pig. The cow said, pig, the pig can go. That is not why we run. Oh, no. But someone bad has made us run. He wants to kill my little one. Uh-oh. So now who do you think's chasing the cows? I asked the cow, who wants to kill your little one? Why, no one will. So who do you think it's going to be? Let's see if you're right. The cow said, look, up on the hill. The fox is there. He comes to kill. The cow and little cow ran past. All full of fear, they ran past fast. So now the cat or the fox is chasing the cows that are chasing the pig, that's chasing the dog, that's chasing the cat, that's chasing the frog, that's chasing the fly. This is getting to be a really long line, a long line of animals. So the fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. The dog ran away from the pig, and now the pig ran away in fear of the cat. They came to the woods, and there was a tent, but they did not stop. In and out they all went. And last came the fox, so he was the one who made them all fear and made them all run. Yes, he was the one who was bad. I could tell. If I could stop him, then all would be well. So see how they're running through the tent? So here's the fly, the frog, the cat, the dog, the pig, the cow, and the fox. And somebody's staring at him. It's probably his tent. I don't think I'd be happy if someone, if that many animals went through my tent like that. I told the fox, oh, shame on you. Oh, shame, shame, shame for what you do. You want to kill the little cow. You stop or I will whip you now. The fox said, now what did I do? Why do you say, oh, shame on you? I tell you I would never kill that little cow. I never will. So why do you think the fox is running then? He doesn't want to kill the cow. So why do you think he's running? The fox said, this is why I ran. Back in the woods, I saw a man. I saw a man. He had a gun. He wants to get me. Let me run. So now we know that there's a man chasing a fox. So let's see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So the fly ran away in fear of the frog who ran from the cat who ran from the dog. The dog and the pig and the cows, they all ran. And then came the fox who ran from the man. They came to a house and went down the hall. And when they went out, there was a big wall. But that did not stop them. Oh, no, not at all. So, the man is chasing the fox, that's chasing the cow, that's chasing the pig, that's chasing the dog, that's chasing the cat, that's chasing the frog, that's chasing the fly. Say that five times fast. And they just ran through a wall. They're pretty powerful creatures. They ran and they ran. They came to a town. They went up one way and then they went down. They went up one way and then down another. They ran and they ran one after the other. They came to a bank, but they did not stop. They went in the bank with a jump and a hop. With a jump and a hop, they ran in 
and then they went out the back way and ran on again. So now they're going through some banks. See that? All those animals running through your bank. That many animals ran through where you were, would you be a little scared? I would be. I ran as fast as I could run. I told the man, you are the one in back of this. You are the one who wants the fox. Put down your gun. Fox? Fox, the man said. No, I saw no fox, but I must go. For you should see, yes, you should see, the thing that is now after me. So now we're finding out that there's somebody after the man. Who could be chasing a man? What do you think? I did not see it, said the man. I took my gun and then I ran. For I could hear a bump and thump. It was so bad it made me jump. What do you think is bumping and thumping? It was so big, it was so near. It must be ten feet tall, he said. And big and fat and bad and red. Why, it can bite and kick and kill and it will do it. Yes, it will. I hear it now. Come on, I say. For I must run and get away. Bump, thump. So what could be big and red and tall and fat? Who knows? Let's see if you can figure it out before we find out. The man ran past fast, fast, fast. What did I hear? A bump and thump? It was so bad it made me jump. I was about to run away, but then I saw the thing and say, it was not tall, it was not mad, it was not big, it was not bad. Was this the thing that made them run and made them fear? Was this the one? He's looking behind a tree. What do you think it's going to be? It was a little sheep, so tame. It came to me and it was lame. I saw what made the bump and thump. I saw the thing that made me jump. The sheep said, look at this tin can. I cannot get it off. I ran. I ran for help. I saw a man. I went to him, but then he ran. Why did he run away from me? I just want help, as you can see. So he just wants help. Do you think the little boy is going to help him? Let's see. I said, I will get help for you, and I can help the others too. For now I know just what to do. So what can the little boy do to help all of the animals? Let's see. Oh man, I called. Come back. Come here. This is a sheep, so you have no fear. The sheep wants help, for it is lame. Come back. Come here. And then he came. So now the man is going to go after the lamb and help him. Or the sheep. Will that stop the other animals from running? What do you think? And then the man took off the can. But still the others ran and ran. They did not know about the can. I tried to call so they would hear. I had to tell them not to fear. I had to tell them all was well. And so I gave a great big yell. So he's probably going to yell, stop guys, stop. So let's see, stop. Everybody yell, stop. Gotta get the animals to stop. Let's see if they stop. I said to them all, you must not run away. No one is after you. No one, I say. You all ran away, and now I know why. I sat by the lake, and there came a fly. The fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. The dog ran away in fear of the pig, who ran from the cow. She was so big. The cow ran away from the fox, who ran as fast as he could in fear of the man. That man heard a thump, and away he ran. It was just a sheep with an old tin can. Do you think the animals are done running? I looked at them all and then I could tell they all had no fear and now all was well. They all went away. They all waved goodbye. So, so what? What do you think? I sat by the lake and looked at the sky. That was a pretty good book. With your people that you're with, see if you can remember all of the animals in the story. And if you can, try to see who chased who. See if you could say... So start with the well, start with the sheep and see if you can figure out what the sheep was going after. All right, bye everybody. Have a good Tuesday.